Let's go to September the 11th, 2018. I honestly debated this morning. I, I made a, a video on my other channel, but I debated making a, a video on this channel today because it's September the 11th, right? I mean, there's no way like I can make a video on September the 11th and not talk about the obvious, right? Like I can't come on here today and be like, let's talk positivity. I mean, I can, and ultimately that's what I wanna do. But, but it's September the 11th and this is a big day, you know? I, I think about how much of an impact this day has had on my life and just kind of my mindset, where it took me, you know, just really led me into this just rabbit hole and just this black hole of conspiracy theories that I went down that eventually I had to kind of break away from. Um, I still say to this day that, that there's so many things that I just don't know. And I don't like that because I'm nosy and I like to know everything. But um, but there are just things that I just don't know. And I've kind of just come to grips with that. I've, I've just had to kind of accept it and say, you know what? I'm not really going to know, but I'm also not going to allow this to completely drive me bonkers and allow me to be crazy and just be just consumed with it. And, and, and I think that's a lot of the emotions that I have regarding this date because honestly, like a lot of people, like I, I was mad, you know what I mean? Like I was, I was pretty upset about it. And so when I feel like we don't know the full story kind of bothered me. So I debated whether or not I was really even going to talk about this at all, right? Which obviously now I'm two minutes in almost and I'm talking about it. But really, I guess more so, I think about the impact that it had on this country as far as like just how we allow fear to control us. Like I think about like pre-9-11 versus post-9-11, the amount of cell phones, <laughs> that are out there. Now I know technology is technology and it's going to advance and, and it was just a matter of time before more and more people had cell phones. But I think that that leap moved much quicker after 9-11 because people felt the need to have that communication. You know, they felt the need to, to, you know, that security of having a cell phone. I know I think about my kids and I'm like, Oh, you got to have a cell phone. Like I've got to be able to communicate with you. Yet when I was their age, like it was no big deal. Like I had no cell phone. Like, I didn't even have a beeper, you know, until I was, I forget, I was, I think I was 17 years old when I got my first beeper. And then I was in the Air Force when I got my first cell phone. I remember the first time I went over on my minutes. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Anyways, total side note there. But, but I just, I, I think about those things and I think about how we've allowed ourselves just as, just as a society to, to allow fear to completely control us and govern how we act and behave and what we do. It's just crazy. Um, so I've got like a lot of emotions tied into 9-11, um, as do a lot of people, obviously. But, um, but man, it's just, uh, it's one of those dates for me. And so I honestly, like I said, I, I thought about just not even making a video today, just kind of doing my video over on, on my other channel talking some sports and kind of breaking away from it and, and not necessarily thinking about it today. Um, but you know, it's, it's one of those things that this day played such a big, a big part. Story. Sorry. I kind of cut myself off there a big part in who I am, um, that I kind of had to hit on it real quick. It was just no way I could just completely ignore this day. So, um, for me, it's just been about breaking away from this kind of stuff and not necessarily focusing in on it. Um, not being blind to, to the nonsense in this world. I think, you know, our eyes need to be open, but I think there's a difference between, um, understanding that there's some shady stuff that goes on in this world and, and completely being and just completely engulfed and just focused in on it 24 uh, seven. for me personally, I try not to stay completely focused in on it 24 7 that's just my personal thing I try to stay away from it um because I noticed the way that it affected me and the way that it bogged me down and uh I felt like it was very unhealthy for me personally um I feel much happier um when I'm not focused in on it which is again why I don't watch the news I can guarantee you this much today specifically especially I probably will not be watching the news. I will not be focused in on anything um, 
I, my thoughts and prayers will forever go out to anyone who was ever affected on this day forever right and, and i will always always be thankful for the people that went in there the firefighters the policemen the just the, the responders everyone just the citizens the the regular Joes that went in there to try to help people out, um, all the people that lost their lives, right? Forever, I will always remember that. Um, I'm just probably not going to watch news channel, blah, 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 kind of uh, rehash that because I've already got it in my mind. I don't need them to, to show it to me again because um, I'll feel some type of way. So uh, that's about all I got. I know I kind of went on here. Um, talking about something that I didn't plan on talking about, but then talked about anyways. Um, but it is what it is, right? It's kind of how it is for me. So I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm always going to show the process, and I will talk to you all later. All right, I'm out.